Tonight I'll be unboxing the Leather Crafters Ultimate Workshop, available from Tandy. Now I've had my eye on this set for a while, a few months going on now, because uh, a lot of commissions I've gotten lately have been for leather items, and it's slowly migrated from a hobby into a part of my profession as a freelance artist. And uh, so, decided to take the plunge with this set. I've been doing uh, masks, keychains, necklace pendants. There's so many things you can do with leather, and it's it's so gratifying. I really, really enjoy it. In addition to uh, making a good bit of change from it right now. So, I decided to take the plunge. This was on sale for $5.99 at Tandy Leather. <laughs> List price is $1,000 for those who are curious. So I said, what the heck? Used my winnings from the art card, uh, yeah, the artist trading card contest and decided to go for it. So, without further ado, let's get to the boxing. Or the unboxing. First off, I've already taken these items out of the set because they're heavy. Oh, this is a granite slab for hammering surfaces with and there's also a mat to cut on several cutting surfaces all right so let's open up this little cooler of tools we've got drafting tools compass more drafting tools Pattern transfer paper. A very lovely rotary hole puncher. An angled knife, which will very much save my wrist from the tough exacto cutting. It's very hard to cut with exacto knives through the thick stuff. Edging tool. More edging tools. Lots of edging tools. Just about every kind you can imagine for every sort of shape. A round hole punch. There's uh, many different sizes of this in here. Just about any size you would need for uh, making any size hole you need. More edging tools. This is an easy strap cutter for cutting belts from leather. Or it's just strips from the leather if you need strips. Another hole punch. An awesome set of heavy duty craft tool scissors, the really nice kind that are for cutting through the thicker leather. And trust me, you'll want a pair of these if you're cutting through thicker leather because they're <laughs> that stuff will really make your hands hurt if you don't have good scissors. A miniature work anvil for the hammering of things. More hole punches. More edging. More hole punches. Hole punch. Rawhide mallet. Plastic mallet. And you want to use these on your metal stamps because uh, you definitely don't want to strike metal against metal for safety's sake. You don't want metal shards flying up in your face. And you don't want to damage your stamps and your other metal tools. Safety Skyver. This is for thinning out leather. And, uh, you know, I use it for beveling edges. But now that I have proper edging tools, I don't have to do that anymore. More hole punch. I'm actually not sure what this tool is, but I'm going to learn now that I have this awesome set. Stamps galore! And oblong hole punches for different types of straps and belts and whatnot. Oh, this also has multiple head uh, hole punches, so if you need to punch multiple holes at once instead of doing one by one. A uh, rotary Cutter? It looks kind of like a pizza cutter to me, but I'm sure that's not what it's for. 
lots of extra rivets and things. The kind folks at the Tandy store up on Lawrenceville Highway threw these in extra for me because they're awesome. Shouting out to you guys. This is an anvil and grommet setter. So you can put grommets and things like corsets or, you know, other clothing. Keen edge sharpeners will be good for keeping my tools sharp. We're still going. There's ever more in here. This is uh, for rolling across your leather and the little wheel on there puts marks so you know where you're stitching, so where to punch holes for your stitching. Handy dandy tool uh, to store your tools with. Oh, there's ever more in here. More oblong hole punches. More stamps. I think just about every stamp, major stamp that they manufacture is in this tool set. This is Jeweler's Rouge for sharpening your tools. So the first half of the swivel knife, which is one of your essential tools for tooling leather. More edging tools. You can't tell there's a thousand and one ways to, to edge leather. <laughs> or to cut bevels. This is a sewing awl for poking holes and stitching. More hole punches and pear shaders and all sorts of handy stamps for tooling. A border tool and a slicking wheel. These are for making the edges of belts nice and smooth. Or in my case, masks, if you're using it for masks. Uh, modeling spoon and stylus. This is for just giving extra dimension to your edges in leather. Because leather surface is a lot like clay sometimes. You can just kind of push it around when it's wet. More grommet setters. More beveling and stamps. Countless beveling and stamp tools for all of your needs. There's a whole little anvil set for, this is for setting snaps. More stamps and shaders of all sizes. More tooling stamps and more sizes. Now we get to the good stuff. Part of the reason I got this set is because these books that come with it are extra handy. This is a book on the basic tools which has care for your tools, how to properly store them, how to properly sharpen them, and even uh, techniques of how to use them. And as you can see, it's all well illustrated for you visual folks like me. These uh, these are pretty expensive on their own so you get every handbook that they have out. You've got belts galore if you want to learn how to make belts. we got a pattern book, tooling instructions, Another pattern book with uh, carving techniques. And they're all by Al Stolman, who is like the god of leather crafting. Hand stitching with leather. I can't wait to read this one. And finally, we get into the bottom here, which we have more stamps, more edging tools, more punches. And more things that I don't quite know what they do, but I'm going to learn now that I have this great workshop. So many thanks to Tandy for giving, for, yeah, for just having such a great deal on tools. And that has been unboxing the Ultimate Workshop.